The first session of Iraq's newly elected parliament began with a ceremony, but quickly turned angry. Its first job was picking a speaker. Two competing Shia blocs, the Sadrist movement and an Iranian-backed coalition, each claimed to have a parliamentary majority. At one point, the debate became so heated that the assembly's temporary leader, Mahmoud al-Mashhadani, had to leave the chamber to seek medical attention. Eventually, the former speaker, Muhammad al-Halbusi, was re-elected, along with deputy speakers from the Sadrist movement and the Kurdistan Democratic Party. But the day's events showed that little has changed since last October's elections. The way political blocs enter the parliament with their old rivalries and ideologies and practices in mind indicates a lack of harmony and reflects a hostile message conveyed across. Under Iraq's post-Saddam Hussein constitution, the parliament now has 30 days to elect the country's new president, who will then ask the assembly's largest bloc to form a government. The speaker says he wants to do all this in just half that time. But choosing a prime minister will be difficult because Shia cleric Muqtada Sadr and the Iranian-backed parties have such different agendas. And Sunday's drama points toward an even more difficult time when it comes to picking a cabinet. The losing parties are expected to take legal actions at the Supreme Court again and deploy their supporters to the streets, but that will not change anything. Iraqis have waited for long to see their new House of Representatives in session, but some fear that real change may once again be derailed by sectarian differences. Some Iraqis see the newly elected parliament as a chance to end corruption and begin a new era. But in a landscape marked by uncertainty and political rivalry, it is not clear whether this new legislature is able or willing to address those concerns. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.